Okay, now we're gonna be looking for upper cervical instability. So we're going to be doing some ligament testing and also checking the integrity of the dens. So we're gonna start with the individual in supine or a crook lie position. Their head supported with a pillow. We're gonna be positioning our fingers on the spinous process of C2, so our index fingers. And to start off with looking at the, the dens and to see if that is intact, we are gonna be applying a uh, pressure or a force in a posterior to anterior direction. So just very gently applying that PA translation. And we're looking for a chin lift here. So we're looking for a chin lift because if the dens is intact, we're expecting to see the occiput lift with that pressure on the C2 spinous process. If we now move our hand positioning slightly, we can position one hand under the base of the occiput. The other uh, finger still stays on the spinous process of C2. And then what we're looking for here is we are now looking at the transverse ligament. Uh, what we should expect to see here is when we do a, uh, a lift of the occiput or a PA uh, movement of the occiput, we should feel that the C2 comes off of our finger that is resting just on the C2 spinous process. So all the force is coming from my left hand here and lifting up the occiput. My right index finger is just resting underneath the C2 and I'm feeling to see if it lifts off of it. Then we move into the alar ligament. So for this one, we more so use our body. We've got our fingers positioned on the C2 spinous process again. And what we're looking for here is translation of that spinous process to the contralateral side in which we're moving. So I'm gonna use my body and we're gonna do a small lateral flexion movement here. And what we should be feeling is the spinous process moving in the opposite direction. So as we move over into lateral flexion to the left, I can feel the spinous process with my right um, index finger, um, which just assures me that the alar ligament is intact. So again, just a very small movement here. Beautiful. And finally, um, we will be looking at the tectorial membrane. So for this test, we're going to have the individual move up the bed a little bit more. Beautiful. So for this position, it's gonna be a, a combination of distraction of the neck and upper cervical flexion. So again, you wanna feel the spinous process, again, of C2 with our index finger. We are then gonna rest our shoulder and use our shoulder to lever this movement. So we're gonna be coming into a distraction and an upper cervical flexion movement. What we're looking for here is a cranial translation of the C2 spinous process, so an upward movement. And that's what I can feel here. Beautiful.